Well, singer, a single mother in Sherman is now one step closer to owning her own home. News 12's Garrett Stringfellow spoke with her about what it means for her. I always want a house, so uh, I've been working hard for this. I've been waiting um, a little bit of time, but finally it's happening. Volunteers with Habitat for Humanity came out early on Saturday to help raise the first walls on single mother Michelle Burgos's new home. We started raising the walls and it was a big blessing. There, a lot of people helped. Um, it was a lot of people. I wasn't expecting that, but I thank each one of them for being here and help us. Lori Mealy is the executive director of Habitat for Humanity of Grayson County, and she says that it's always an exciting day to raise the first walls on a new house. It's a wonderful celebration of what's already happened, all the prep work that it's taken to get to this point, and then what's actually going on today, and then the promise of what's to come. What's to come is a brand new home for Michelle and her family, but it didn't come easy. She's invested more than 100 hours of sweat equity so far, and before the house is over, we'll have invested 250 hours of sweat equity. Someone else who's invested some serious sweat equity into Habitat for Humanity is volunteer Jim O'Borney. Jim has been involved with the organization for about six years. He welcomes anyone who is looking to support a good cause to come out and spend a couple hours getting their hands dirty. Getting these walls raised on the, on the outside of the house, and, and uh, as you can see, it's, a, it's been a been fantastic activity. Um, and, and very rewarding. And it's a big blessing. And I would, I would say like everything that I've gone through right now, I see all the prayers that I do and I, they're being answered. Well, it was a hot and sweaty morning, as you might be able to tell. But thanks to Habitat for Humanity and all the volunteers who came out to help, the walls are officially up. And Michelle and her family are just a few short months from being able to move into their brand new home. In Sherman, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.